Hey guys, my name is Peter Steele, and today we're going to show you how to install Composer, which is a PHP dependency manager, along with the Laravel PHP framework. Let's get started. So first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to bring in our web browser and go to gitcomposer.org. And we're going to navigate here to the download section. Now since we are on a Windows machine, we're going to run the composer-setup.exe. If you are on another system, such as Linux or Mac OS, you need to run some of these other commands, and they will show you how to do that. So we're going to click on this Composer Setup EXE, and it's going to download a small 734 kilobyte file. We're going to click on it and run, and then click Yes. Now it's going to bring up your installer and click Next. Now since I already have PHP installed through my XAMPP installation, it's going to automatically find that and ask if you want to uh, use this PHP in path. So we're going to click Yes for Next. We are not going to use a proxy server, so just click Next, Install, and that's going to install Composer into our system. It's very easy, pretty straightforward, and it will allow you to easily install many other things. So we'll just click Finish. Now we want to install Laravel. Well, to install Laravel, you just go to laravel.com and come under here to the documentation. Now under the documentation, the first thing you'll come across is installation. And as you can see here, there's only one command that we need to run, which is Composer Global Require Laravel Installer. So we'll copy that, come down here to our CMD, and we're going to right-click, run as administrator, and click yes again. And now you can see we have our command prompt. We're going to paste in the command and hit enter on the keyboard. So it's going to change into your Composer directory, and then it's going to install Laravel to your system. Um, so in less than two minutes, You've managed to get Laravel installed under your Windows system along with Composer for the PHP dependency management. Now, let's actually show you at this point how Laravel works. So I'm not going to go through how to actually build an application, but I'm going to show you at least how to set up an application once you have it installed. So what we're going to do is we're going to CD out of the root of our system here, and we're going to CD into our users, and we're going to CD into my main name, and then we'll CD into documents, and then we're going to make a directory with mkdir, and call it sites. Now we're going to cd into sites and then we're going to install a new Laravel application. To do that it's very simple. All we have to do is type in Laravel new and then the application name. So Laravel new and then we're just going to call this tutorial. If I can spell today and hit enter. So you can see it's already crafting the application. It handles putting Laravel into your system path so you can do it anywhere into the system that you want to. And it's going to go through and it's going to start downloading all of your files that you need. Now since I've had Laravel on my system before, it does still have some of the stuff on here, as you can see by it loading from the cache. Uh, if it does not have anything on the system that it needs, it'll download, as you can see here, where it says downloading 100%. Now, I'm not going to sit here and bore you and let you watch this. It takes a couple minutes to install the new application, and it will for every application that you install. But um, I'm going to pause the video real quick, and then we'll come back, and I'll show you the file structure, and we'll move on from there. Okay, so it's pretty much almost done installing. As you can see here, it's right there in the last little bits, and uh, it should be done right about now. So... There you go, it says application ready, build something amazing. So now that we're in the sites, we can do a directory. If I can actually get into the thing there, there we go. And you can see that we now have a folder called tutorial. So we'll cd into tutorial, and then we're gonna do a directory again to see all the different files that we have. So you can see a bunch of different folders and files that we have available to us from the default Laravel application. Now to actually see your Laravel application, all you have to do is type in php artisan serve. And as you can see here, the Laravel local development server is now running on our local host at port 8000. So if we come over here and type in localhost, I guess it helps if I can spell today, port 8000, and hit enter, you can see that we now have a Laravel application running on our Windows machine. Uh, so that's it. Under five minutes and you got Laravel up and running. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please leave them in the comment section below. And if you want to see an easier way to run your Laravel applications using the Laravel Valet, which is normally only available for Mac, please watch my video here, 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 wherever the heck it is. And uh, go watch that quick tutorial on how to get that set up and you'll see just how much easier it is to run your Laravel applications and to be able to serve them up so that you can actually see and test them. Thanks again for watching, guys. Thank you, and have a wonderful night.